welcome. Haley Cloud from Living Raw by Grace here, and today I'm talking about avocados. So for the past two weeks, I've been telling you all the amazing benefits of avocados, and this week I've been sharing lots of really easy, incredible recipes as to how to add more avocados into your diet. So today, I'm gonna demonstrate the chocolate avocado pudding. Super easy, six ingredients, no time at all to make, it's wonderful. So, let's talk about chocolate avocado pudding. So we've, we've got very few ingredients here. We're gonna use avocados, of course, some raw cashews, some raw cacao powder, and some raw honey and some water. Hi everybody, welcome. Yay, Catherine, I know I make this all the time too. The very first time I ever made this for my husband, he didn't believe me when I told him it was raw vegan. He literally thought it was the exact same recipe that his mom used to make when she was standing over the stove and stir and stir and stir and so it didn't burn. And so the second time I made it, I made him watch me make it and he went, uh, doesn't taste like the ingredients you put in there. That's incredible. So I can't wait for you to try this on your own. I kind of wish I could serve all of you right now so you could taste and see for yourself. That's what I love to do. Um, so let's get to it. So the first things we're going to talk about is avocado. Now, incredible. Everybody needs more avocado in their diet. It's one of those, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, an avocado a day keeps the cancer away. So avocados are phenomenal at reducing your risk of hormonal cancers, breast cancer, prostate cancer, and a whole host of others. It's also extremely anti-inflammatory, so if you have chronic pain, these will help alleviate it. I just had someone text me the other day that they started eating an avocado a day, and their recovery from their daily workouts was better and better, and they couldn't wait to tell me all about it. So anti-inflammatory. They also are incredible for cholesterol. So if you suffer from high cholesterol, or it's been something you've been struggling with, add some more avocados in. I know we try to stay away from fats, but these are good healthy fats that we, our body desperately needs. So we've got three right here, and, uh, and they're all a little different. It's kind of hard to see hard to see on the camera. So we've got one that's got a little bit of green to it, just a little bit. If you can see, I already popped the stems off at the store to see how they were. If you don't know how to do that, go check out my last video and I showed you how to pick the best avocados. So I have three. This one is so squishy that, um, that I, I'm afraid I could like poke my finger right through it. So we'll see what this looks like on the inside. And then this one's, this one's a little, the, so the next squishiest, and this one's a little hard. So we'll open them up and we'll see how it works. So I'm also, no one's immune to the random avocado that's, that turns out to be no good. So let's see if all of these are fantastic. All right. Opening up an avocado. And <gasps> beautiful, lovely. Gorgeous, aren't they nice? See how it's very green around the edges and yellow on the inside? I would have given this another half a day to, to 24 hours to get even more creamy. I want the whole thing to be this yellow, but there is this fine line, this balance of, you know, it's, it's yellow and perfectly creamy for like two seconds and you blink and all of a sudden it's brown. So I'm glad I got it at this stage. It's still very creamy and delicious, but um, edible. <laughs> So to get the seed out, one of my favorite ways to do it is not with this knife. Let me get, let me get my good knife. So this knife <laughs> is to put, is to literally just chop right in the front. So I'm just gonna, so, ah, look, I cut through the thing, through the seed. So then I just twist and it comes right out. Ah, ah, did you see that? I'm gonna do it two more times in case you didn't see it. All right, so let's open this one up. Oh, I'm so glad someone made you a guacamole that you are loving. I really hope that everybody adds more avocado into their life. Oh, my really, really squishy one that I was worried about. Boo. Thankfully, this is just the stain from the, the seed, so that's not a big deal. There's a little spot here, a little spot here, and it's starting to lift. It smells good still. Have you ever smelled an avocado and it didn't smell quite right? <laughs> Maybe it's me. So, um, so this one's, I'm, I'm still going to use it. 
This is one of those things where as a raw vegan, I buy so many fruits and vegetables. Have you seen, have you seen this yet? Look, look, this is, this is like every four days. <laughs> I buy so many fruits and vegetables that um, I, I, I really dislike throwing away food. So this, this is still edible as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to eat this and it's going to be amazing. All right. Now this one is the greenest one. Let's see. Let's see how this one opens up. Let's use the good knife. All right. A little too much sawing for my preference. Open it up. Looks beautiful. Look at the difference between, between these two. All right. Can you see how this one's kind of crumbling off of the, the peel? You can see how the peel's jagged. So this is, this is creamier, and this one is going to be um, uh, easier to get out and softer and squishier and delicious. This one's still good, don't get me wrong, but it's greener, it's firmer, it's going to have less flavor. Um, still amazing. So I'm, I'm using all of them. I just want you to see the process I go through so that you're not so, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um, it's all a learning process. Hopefully I can help you through the learning curve so that it's not overwhelming or daunting. Hopefully I can help. That's my job on this earth. So we've got, oh, oh I gotta take a seat out. So remember, I just, boop. Now, don't put your fingers there if you don't have good aim. So it's attached. I give it a little turn. That one didn't work. Oh. So this is the sign of a firm avocado. The seed's not coming, it's not letting go. Um, so it's not quite as, all right, so my second thing, can you see this now? Now I'm, I'm stabbing it and I'm getting deeper and then I'm twisting, ta-da, and it twists, it twists straight out. So you've seen me use my, my usual method and then my, oh, I'm gonna get you out no matter how, it, no matter what I do. All right. All right, so. Let's add these to our blender. Um, now my favorite way is to simply cut them in half and peel them. So I'll show you what I mean by that. This one's so soft. This one's so soft, it's gonna like, uh, can I say sploosh? It's gonna sploosh everywhere? Probably shouldn't say that. All right, so I'm just gonna peel. It should come right off. Ta-da! Should come right out. Hi, everybody. Welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> All right, peeling, peeling, peeling. It's coming right out. So it comes right out. These are the firm ones. They don't really want to let go of their peel. I have to really pull hard. And then you got the really squishy one. Watch, watch the really squishy one. <laughs> okay. Um, so, if I were making this by myself, not on camera, I would make myself an impromptu avocado mask. Because not only are, are avocados anti-inflammatory in your body, they're also anti-inflammatory for your skin. Anybody else like me suffer from bags under the eyes? Oh, bags. Anti-inflammatory avocado mask. Peeling, 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 peeling. Look at my thumbs. So the rest of my hands are perfectly fine. But my thumbs are the peelers. Hi, Gracie. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Catherine. Hi, everybody. All right, here we go. Almost down to the last one. All right, my thumbs. My thumbs are ridiculous. I'm gonna. I'm gonna rinse them off real fast. I'll be right back. The next ingredient, yeah, it's the only time I'll ever have a green thumb. Uh, the next ingredient is raw cashews. So I use cashew pieces whenever I'm going to be blending them. They're way cheaper uh, in pieced form than whole, and, um, and if I'm going to be blending it anyway, why pay more for intact cashews? All right. Raw cacao powder. I buy it by like the two liter bag, so I have to put it in a little container. Raw cacao. I'm talking about raw cacao tomorrow. 
at the health summit the life 360 summit that's going on tomorrow I'm talking about superfoods and this may or may not be one of them I may or may not be feeding everybody tomorrow and we got some raw honey make sure it's raw so none of that pasteurized stuff you buy in the store raw um, use what you got don't listen to me raw is the best any honey's good do what you're gonna do oh thanks Sharon you like my hair mm, my big poofy bun it's gigantic all right so we're doing third of a cup like my exact uh, measurements oh I'm precise okay that's it isn't that crazy and I'm gonna add some water now water whenever anybody makes any of my recipes every time you make it it's gonna be a little different every time simply because all your variables change your avocados could be this big they could be this big they could be really ripe they could be a little on the green side they could be in season they could be out of season they could be organic Does anybody ever buy organic avocados I don't know if I've ever had one um, the cashews could be from Trader Joe's they could be from Winco the honey might be clover honey or orange blossom honey or cat's claw honey the variables change so it's gonna change every time every time you make this it's gonna be a little different and that's okay it's okay you learn what you love you learn how to modify the recipe Ooh, it wasn't sweet enough I needed more honey Ooh, I could really taste the cashews I should pull back a little bit whoa those avocados were not ripe I need more honey um, all of these things so but when you're adding water it's the one thing you have complete control over complete control over so I usually say whatever the recipe calls for use half of the water the recipe calls for good now if you need more add it in it is much easier to slowly add it in until you get the right consistency than to try to take it out after you've put it in all right so I'm gonna add it as I'm blending yeah. can you see my blender back there yep right there all right let's start with a little bit of water and then if I need more water I've got more water okay now I have a Vitamix so I'm gonna make this super fast really easy and I'm gonna use my tamper to do so if you have a Vitamix do it exactly how I do it if you don't have a Vitamix and you don't have one of these it's gonna take you longer you're gonna blend you have to stop you have to scrape with a spatula push things down back to the blades you start you stop you scrape push things down to the blades nothing wrong with this we've all done this this is okay you want to do it as much as you can till it's smooth as butter I mean really amazing for those of us who spent a fortune on Vitamixes worth every penny so that I have no work to do so it's gonna take me seconds to make this into pudding it's gonna take some of you minutes to do so here we go where's my lid found it <laughs> all right I'm gonna blend might get a little loud see the back of me for a little while here we go am I still on camera cacao did I why didn't you tell me <laughs> did I didn't I it's not very brown I'm adding more cacao why not it's incredible for you here we go again
take a peek. Now that looks more like the right color. Let me get a spoon. Now that, whoop, whoop, is chocolate pudding. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, so, so good. So good. I'm going to keep eating. So, <laughs> yes. Creamy, thick, mousse like texture, <sighs> chocolatey, sweet. I can't taste the avocados at all. That's the secret. If that's the first thing you taste, add a few more cashews. Add a little more honey, okay? But avocados should melt into the background. They should just kind of disappear. If you want more chocolate, add more raw cacao. It's really hard to overdose on cacao. It is, it is expensive. Eat it anyway. It's incredible. Oh, it's not that expensive. You guys are watching me eat chocolate avocado pudding. I wish this was like smell-o-vision so you could smell it. So good. So good. Um, this is going to be my lunch. And it's avocados. This is the fun thing. This is breakfast for my kids sometimes. It's lunch, it's dinner, it's dessert, it's whatever I want. And it's going to thicken up as soon as I put it in the fridge. And it's going to be real thick, delicious mousse. I can even pour this into popsicle molds, molds and make chocolate fudge sickles. Yes, 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 yes. All right, that's, that's, that's it. That is as easy as it is. Hopefully you watched it, you watched me modify it, you watched me eat it, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, share this with your friends. Go out and get some avocados, go get some raw cacao powder, go get some raw cashews, go make it yourself, and love every minute of it. Tell me if you make it. Post, post it and tag me in a picture. I would love to hear about it. Um, oh, good question. So Gracie asked if it's only chocolate. No, not at all. Uh, you wanna throw some strawberries in here? Raspberries, blueberries, blackberries. You wanna make a different pudding and put some, some other things in there? By all means, go do so. Um, yes, Sharon, I will make you some when I see you, I promise. It's gonna be amazing. And then you can go home and make it with your new Vitamix. Okay, everybody, have a wonderful weekend. Have a great time. I will see you on Monday with a new ingredient to tell you all about. Have a great day. God bless you.